How's it going guys? It's Michael Starks from The Stylish Grown Man. So today I wore this ascot and I cannot tell you how many compliments I received. You really don't see too many guys walking around with ascots on. And I have to admit that I got inspiration from one of my favorite actors from way back in the day. I saw Cary Grant wear one of these with a polo shirt, which was like, wow, I had never seen that before and it was so awesome. I think I'll buy an ascot and wear something like that because that looked too cool. So I went out and ordered one online and I was gonna wear it with a polo shirt, but I decided, yeah, let me try it out. Let me try it out with a dressier look. And I tell you, I really like this. So I figured since I'm getting a little mileage on this ascot with my outfit of the day, why not get a little extra mileage on it by showing you how to tie an ascot. Okay guys, this is an ascot. And uh, as you can see, it looks like basically two wide ties on each side of this. And you have your pleated neck band, okay? There's three ways you can tie this. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is show you how to tie all three. I'm gonna start with the simplest way to tie it and go up to the more, not really difficult, but the most difficult way to tie it. Okay, the first method I'm gonna show you is the simplest way. And I'm gonna try to do this without making a lot of noise with my mic. Okay, so first you take this neck band and you put it around your neck. And you can either put it inside the collar, if you're like me and I have a shorter neck, it might be a good idea to put it inside the collar or you can wear it slightly above the collar. But I'm always gonna tie mine inside the collar because I have a short neck. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna have this right side just slightly longer than the left side. And you're just basically gonna wrap it around like so and bring it up through the loop. Like this, pull it in, down, and you can tighten it up like so. Very simple. Okay, you take it, straighten it out a little bit, tuck it in your shirt. Now, as you can see, I have my second button unbuttoned, uh, which is a good way to display your ascot. But if you like me and I like a little salty, I like to go ahead and button that button and just have that little bit showing there. I think that looks to me that I like that look that looks a little neat. Now, this is the easiest method, but it's also the method that you'll have to continue throughout the day to adjust because it tends to come loose real easy and you'll have to just keep tightening it throughout the day. But if you're in a pinch and in a hurry, this is the way to go. So I decided to go ahead and take the mic off because putting this on makes a lot of noise on my when that mic is attached to my shirt. Okay, so the second way you can put this on is you're gonna put it around your neck, like so. Okay? All right, so you want the right side to be just slightly longer than the left, okay? Now you're gonna start tying this like you do a four in hand. You're gonna take it like so, take the right side, cross it over the left, and you're gonna bring it around like so, like you get ready to tie a necktie. But instead of bringing this up and over and through this knot here, you're just gonna bring it over like so, up and through the loop. And there you have it. Okay? And you just tuck it in. Okay, and again, if you wanna play with it a little bit to make it spread out a little, look nice, there you go. And then you can either go with that second button unbutton or like I do, hit that top button and go for the subtlety. The third way to tie this is just like a four in hand necktie. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna put this around your neck. And again, I go for the end collar because I have a short neck. All right, so you want both of these sides to be even. The right and left side, you want about approximately even. So you're gonna take the right side, cross it over the left, 
just like you would tie a four in hand necktie. Okay, you want to take this through the loop and you're going to actually take this flap and put it through the knot just like you would a tie. Tighten it. Okay, and as you can see, you have the knot. Now, this flap here, you're gonna bring this flap under the loop and over, but before I do that, the good thing about tying your ascot this way, just like a four in hand knot tie, is you can adjust it just like you do a tie. So you can get it a little snug, a little tight, or however you want. So that's the good thing about uh, using this particular method to tie your ascot. Now, with the flap that you have left, it's gonna be a little longer. Uh, you're gonna take this flap, bring it through the loop, up under, and over. Okay? Then you can take it, tuck it in, play with it to make it look nice, and if you're like me, Go ahead, button that second button. So that's it guys. That's how you tie an ascot. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down in the comment section. Let me know if you will wear an ascot. And please don't forget to click that little red button down there to subscribe to my channel. And as always, be stylish today.